The holiday season is in full swing. Does a spontaneous few day trip have to be planned many months in advance? A rhetorical question, since it is spontaneous, the decision is made just like that, without detailed planning. Having recently witnessed a situation when a couple of relatively young people, that is people who should have no problem using the good sides of digitalization, appeared at the hotel reception asking if there was a free room, I decided to write a little about my travels with my family, during which we often spontaneously stop in selected cities. And often, because the distances are too long, we decide to stay overnight and continue our journey in the morning. How to save time, money, and reduce disappointment to a minimum. In the video, I will try to show whether it is possible. The recommendations concern travel around Europe. I will try to find an answer, whether when choosing a hotel, guest house, or restaurant. It is worth following the ratings of only one website. How to find authentic local restaurants while on the road. How to check whether the places we want to visit can be reached by car as close to the center as possible. I usually use Booking.com for most of my hotel and apartment bookings. Why? Wide selection and ease of use. Booking.com offers a vast selection of hotels and apartments, allowing me to compare rates and inclusions easily. This makes it simple to find accommodation that suits our needs and budget. Trustworthy reviews. The platform features verified guest reviews, which helps in making informed decisions about where to stay. These reviews add to the credibility and transparency of the booking process. By the way, Italians and Japanese are very critical in assessing their hotels and accommodations, so if their ratings are high, the place is usually worth recommending. You can check the reviews by filtering them by country. Flexible booking options. Many properties on Booking.com offer free cancellation and flexible booking terms, providing peace of mind if your travel plans change. Price comparison and competitive rates. The platform allows for easy comparison of prices, often offering competitive rates that may not be available directly through the hotel's website. SIM card roaming. Before leaving, make sure you have or purchase a suitable roaming package for the EU. Be extremely careful when visiting Monaco or Switzerland or any other country not part of the EU you will be charged horrendous amounts depending on which provider you have for using the internet. For Monaco, try to manually choose one of the French networks like SFR, which works well in most parts of the principality. A better option is to buy a local prepaid card for the country you visit. In Europe, all EU countries can be used by buying a card in one of the member countries. If you have an old SIM card from a place you visited in the past and you want to visit again after a long time, it's worth checking if the SIM card is still active and easily recharge it via their internet portal so you are good to go. My UK card was still good after six years and a top up of 10 pounds was perfect for the next trip. Free versus toll roads. In many European countries, most notably France, Italy, Greece, and Spain, you must pay the road toll as you go. I would strongly suggest using your Google Maps or better even Waze as it alerts you about police checks and radars to check the route without tolls and compare the time needed. Sometimes the difference is one hour, but you get to see the real countryside, stop in small towns or villages for a coffee or a quick meal. Driving on the main highway can be sometimes daunting if you get stuck in a kilometer long queue, which happens quite often, especially in the summer month. Always carry lots of water and snacks in case you get stuck in a long traffic jam. If you do use the highways and come up to the toll gate, you can use your card to pay without the hassle of looking for the correct amount of money. Usually the cars behind you will be pretty impatient if you do. In many other countries like Austria, Croatia, Slovenia, Hungary, Czechia and Slovakia, or Switzerland, you can buy a vignette when entering the country for a certain period of time varies from country to country. Switzerland has only for one full year. Do not drive without it. The fine can be pretty stiff. If you plan to visit some major attractions or venues, booking museum and other tickets in advance is a must. Identify popular attractions. Research the most popular museums, tours, and sites at your destination. For example, the Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna is highly recommended to book in advance to avoid long queues and secure availability. Book well in advance. For international trips, it's wise to book tickets three to six months ahead, and for domestic trips, four to eight weeks in advance. This can help secure the best rates and ensure availability. Check tour requirements. Some specific tours, like walking tours in cities such as Berlin, may require advance booking, especially for unique experiences like day trips to nearby destinations. 
consider passes for savings. Look into sightseeing passes, such as the Vienna Pass, which offers entry to multiple attractions and additional perks. This can save both time and money. Avoid last-minute surprises. Booking in advance can prevent unexpected disappointments like sold-out tickets or long wait times. It's a proactive way to ensure a smooth travel experience. Cash at smaller restaurants, cafes, or ice cream parlors often required in many places. Some private shop or cafe owners even offer a small discount for cash payments. Make sure you have enough small change with you, but don't carry bills larger than 100 euros. You can also use such services as wise.com. You can find a link to their services in the description below to open an online account and get a debit card which works in many local currencies without expensive bank conversion rates. Security measures. Attention, pickpocketing and outright daytime robberies have become a daily routine in many European cities like London. Mobile phone snatching, Barcelona, bag snatching, Paris, Nice, and most of the bigger Italian cities. Always leave your passport and valuables in the hotel safe or carry inside an inner pocket or waist bag. No fancy and expensive watches in the south of France especially can. Watch robberies have become a plague there. In most European countries, you can dial the 112 emergency hotline to get immediate help, even if you your phone is not registered for roaming locally and it is a free call. Pets and travel. We travel usually without our dog, but if you plan a trip with your pet, always check if the hotels are accepting animals. Usually, it is not a problem with smaller dogs. There are also special platforms where you can find pet-friendly hotels and dog sitters. It's not possible to take a pet everywhere with you museum, restaurants, perhaps relaxing day on the beach, and sometimes also due to the extreme high temperatures, it's better to assure quiet and cool place for your dog. Don't forget your animal's passport with all the updated vaccinations. It's also good to have enough food which your pet is familiar with in order to limit stomach surprises. Dogs should be transported in the car in a special box or with a seat belt. If you are on medication, make sure you have enough for trip before you leave. In most countries, you need a prescription, which must be issued by a local doctor. If you do need to buy some when traveling, don't forget that many medicines use different names in different countries, so check the ingredients to make sure it's what you need. A good international travel insurance is an important part and a must in some countries to get an entry visa. Purchase travel insurance to cover medical emergencies, trip cancellations, and other unexpected events. Last but not least, research your destination. Understand the culture, language, and local customs to better prepare and respect local norms. Learn basic local phrases. Knowing a few key phrases in the local language can enhance your travel experience and help in emergencies. Stay informed and safe. Subscribe to travel advisories and updates for your destination and follow local news to stay informed about any safety issues. Thanks for watching. Check the description below for some recommended products to accompany you on your next trip. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Happy and safe travels, everyone.